In the previous video, I have told you about Canva and what are the main benefits of Canva and why you should learn Canva. But in the upcoming videos, I'll be showing you how you can create content on Canva, such as social media post, banner, invitation, card, and many more. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a LinkedIn banner on Canva. So, hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. This is the fifth video in this Canva course. And this video is about how to create a LinkedIn banner on Canva. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see guys, right now I'm in Canva and in order to create a LinkedIn banner, we just have to search. Otherwise you can click on here and from here you can find out the banner or the content you want like this. These are the platforms. But if you can't find here, you just have to come here and search. Otherwise you can create, click on create design and here's the option as well. You just have to write LinkedIn and all the templates related to LinkedIn will be here. You just have to click on the product or the banner you want. Also you can search here as well. Just you have to write LinkedIn banner. As you can see here, this is the LinkedIn banner. You just have to click and all the templates related to LinkedIn banner will be here. As you can see. So you can choose any one from these templates and you can edit according to your preference. Okay. But for now we are going to create a banner from scratch only. So let's select the empty one. I guess empty is not here. Let me select this one and then I'll delete. Click on customize this template. Now let's delete all these things. Click on control all and click on delete. Also select this image and delete as well. So this is the empty template we got. Now we have to fill in according to our preference. Now select the, uh, we have to select the background first in order to make the design, right? So let's go to elements. Then here are the elements, but these are not the background, right? So let's click on gradient and here we'll be finding some gradient design. Guess this would be perfect. And just we have to stretch it so that the whole design can fill like this. If it is not fitting up, now the design is filled now. As you can see, the background is filled. After filling out the background, now we have to add some elements over here. So let's search some images because see, in element section, we got all the options. Videos, audio, photos, stickers, graphics, line and shapes, and these are the some recently used designs, okay? So from element section only, you will be finding all the things which you need. Otherwise you can go to photos and you can click on other apps as well, these apps option. And here you will be finding some extra content. As you can see here, these are the copyrighted free platform where, from where you can download the content. Otherwise click on element, then search digital marketing. And as you can see, these are the elements which we are going to use. Some of them are pro as well, like this one, as you can see, pro is written over here, which means this is only uh, for paid accounts and we can't use this. If we use this, we'll be getting watermark, as you can see, watermarks, remove watermarks. If I click on this, I'll be redirected to this purchase icon. But we don't want to purchase because uh, this course is totally for free Canva account, okay? Now let's just select one image from here, as you can see like this stretch a bit like this and then we have to decrease the opacity so that uh, it can be a bit transparent i just want it to be look like this background i just want it to blend in the background okay so i guess it's perfect then select one more element in, in digital marketing only click on graphics now let's add one graphic as well oh, i guess this one would be perfect stretch it a bit once it's stressed, click on this transparency button and decrease the opacity like this. Now, once the image is added, uh, go back to all and let's select some shapes over here. Uh, let me find the shapes. Oh, okay, let me, now I'll be finding, yeah. Let's select the square first and stretch it a bit like this. Then if you want to drag it, you just have to click on this uh, plus icon and after clicking the left click, just drag it like this. Let me change the color of this square into white. I guess this one is perfect like this. 
then I have to select one circle as well. Click on see all if you are not finding. Okay, let me add one circle as well. And to drag it, just click left click, okay, and drag. Now let me increase the size of the circle, not like this. If you want to undo, just press Ctrl Z and it will be back to the condition. I have to stretch it like this. Stretch a little bit more, this one as well. Stretch it. And by default, it will be going the behind of this circle because this was the previous thing and I have added this after this uh, rectangle, that's why. Otherwise, if you want to send this backward, you can do this like this. You just have to click right click and send backward. Otherwise, send back will be sent all the way to the back. Now, I guess it's perfect. Let's change the color of this shape as well. Like this. I guess a little bit small would be good. Yeah, this one is perfect. After this, we can add one frame here. You just have to scroll in this elements, okay? The main thing or the main property you will find in this element section only, okay? So you don't have to go here and there, just in element. Otherwise, if you want to upload your file, you just have to go to this. And here you will be fi uh, finding your uploads, like uh, I have uploaded agency logo right here. So go back to elements. Here is the frame. Just drag and drop, increase the size of this a little bit, a little bit more. This much is okay, I guess. Now, I have to add image in this uh, frame. This is a frame actually, as you see, as you can see here, these all are frame and you can add image in these frames. Okay, so make sure these frames can be modified. Now, go to uploads, click on upload files and here are the images which you can add or you can add any image according to your preference. I'm going with these images. These are the thumbnails, but this would make the work done just click on open as you can see it is uploading now once it's upload drag and drop it in the frame and you just have to double click and now stretch it a bit more so that it can fit under this i guess it is good now just click on done otherwise click anywhere in the this background and it will be automatically saved like this now we have to add content over here as well Okay, so let's go back to element again. No, I guess uh, I should go to upload again <clears throat> and upload one more image. Yeah, this is the image. This is the logo of our uh, company. Once it's upload, yeah, it's uploaded now. Let me drag, wait. Let me just click on this and it will be automatically added here like this. And I guess it is blending a bit. So I should decrease the opacity of this background images a more, this one as well. So that our logo can differentiate a bit like this now our logo is looking okay or i can do one thing i can uh, decrease the opacity of our background as well i mean not opacity i can change the color of our background so that our logo can be a bit differentiate let me change the color from here as i have already told you the, uh, this is the gradient okay gradient background that, that's why it has two colors now let me change it a bit by clicking on this you can uh, bring this color palette like that thing and you can change the color like this yeah it is getting a bit light now and our logo is looking perfectly fine now once it's done resize it again so that we can add the title here now let's take a text if you want you can directly add uh, select these headings otherwise you want other fonts you can select these as well so for now, I'm going with the owner, this simple heading. Let me write here. Uh, let me select again this text. And click backspace, then write. Digital, digital marketing specialist and web designer. So this would be the title. And I guess I should bold it a bit. It is already bold. Let me change the font. Let me select this RPO black. Yeah, it's looking a bit fine. And I should resize it a bit. Once the text is added, you have to add one more thing. And I guess the banner is ready now. Let me add one more element. Let me search web. Yeah, this is the element which I needed. Increase, uh, resize it a bit. Then click on plus icon and let me change the color as well. Into black and the second one is also into black. 
little bit more if you're not able to see the properly you can resize i mean you can increase the size of this band uh this i mean this stencil or what we can say it okay now it's perfect i guess let me reset uh yeah now it's fine now let's add one more thing click on plus icon click on text write www dot marketing funders dot com and drag and drop here and boom it's done now as you can see the banner is done and i guess it's looking perfect otherwise we can do one more thing we can uh send this and this one is to in the middle as well if it is not looking good here you can select these two both uh these two by clicking press uh by clicking control button okay by clicking control button you can select both the things no it is not happening just do it like this and drag this as well like this now i guess it's perfect now it's perfectly looking good and i hope you understood how you can create banner it is totally up to you this is my design you can change it according to you and make your own design as well okay also we got some uh templates as well these are the templates which you can choose from so it gives you some extra edge to create more specific or more uh, interesting designs sorry for the inconvenience my internet is not working properly but yeah you get that point right so i hope you understood this video i hope you like this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also if you have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye